Sean Dykes has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to West Ham United this Saturday. It's a big, big game for the Toffees. It's a big game for Julian Lopetegui as well, with lots of reports saying that he will lose his job should West Ham lose to Everton at the weekend. Uh, but the manager was uh, asked today about Seamus Coleman's involvement in the Ireland squad after Evans' captain was named in the Republic of Ireland squad despite not starting a game for Everton. Recently, the manager had a surprising update on that. This is what he had to say. It'd be useful, but unfortunately he's got an injury, right. so we're not sure how serious that is at this stage. Um, looks minor at the moment, but we'll have to wait and see. So unfortunately, he just keeps getting there and he's been working very hard in training, so... Yeah, that's an unfortunate one, but we've had a, a tough run at that, as, as you know. Correct. It's not minor hamstrings, so we've just got to check that it's uh, nothing too serious or not over the weekend. Or so, well, probably not today, actually. Was that the shortest call-up in international history? I want to know. Uh, Seamus hamstring injury, so unlike, surely he's unlikely to play for Ireland. Um, not sure if he's going to go and travel and let them assess him. Probably will. But, you know, it's it's... So frustrating this season for Coleman because he just can't get fit. When he gets fit, he plays and then he's out again. So there you go. Um, Armando Breuer was pitched in first team training this week. Um, hope news, you know, lots of people getting excited that he might be very close to a return to first team or certainly make close to making his debut for Everton. Uh, he hadn't featured since playing for Albania in the Euros in the summer. This is what Sean Dyche had to say when asked about Breuer. Yeah, actually. in parts is the right thing. He's, he's just basically been a floater, that's it. Just to get a feel of the ball and um, nothing other than that at this stage. Um, just out of trouble, you know. And just really get to know the players because obviously he, he came in injured, which everyone knew, and he's, he's been working, you know, really, really working really well, actually. Put a lot into his recovery with the sports science. So just getting around the players on the pitch, that is. Obviously, he's in the dressing areas and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he's not bad any contact of any kind. It's just literally as a floater in certain parts of the training. Um, just warm-ups and stuff like that, and then working with the sports science team. So it's just a crossover now. Hopefully, from next week onwards, we'll start moving that forward. I take it he will need behind closed doors friendlies as well. When are you thinking that? I take it he won't be able to do that during the international break. But... No, of course. I mean, the timing's great that he's he's getting there, but obviously with the international break, it's difficult because everyone disperses again. So, uh, But yeah, he's going to need a games programme, definitely. Do you know when that will be? Or... No, I mean, we, we're getting him to the point of training, so he's not there yet. From next week, we're hoping that he'll, he'll be looking more likely. As it happens, unfortunately, everyone disperses, as I said. As I said, sorry. Um, on the other hand, when he comes back in, he'll be, he will be in full training with the team. So the following week, when everyone comes back together. Um, and therefore, just take it on from there. You know, first things first, make sure he's fit and well, as in no more injuries. Illaman and Jai picked up a slight injury last week in the defeat against Southampton, but has trained again this week. The manager was asked how the injury was going and whether or not he's considered playing Illaman and Jai in the position he's played most of his career. In the number 10 role, this is what John Dyche had to say about that. Yeah, he was out there today um, in Van Duke, so we're, we're hopeful on that. I mean, we'll, we'll await the um, tomorrow morning in case there's any stiffness or anything like that, but we're hopeful on them too. You've primarily played in Dyche on the left wing. Um, is there a chance that maybe he could play in that number 10 role? How would you see him in there? There is if we think he's got a chance to deliver. Um, you know, it, I think... We've, we've had patches of seeing him in there, and I think the, the the key thing about learning that role, as you've seen with Dwight, Dwight's been effective on the attacking side, and the defending side is more difficult. You know, that's that, that role in the Premier League has changed. You know, 10 or 15 years ago, the number 10, you almost sort of let them do what they wanted to do, but you can't anymore. You know, the, the way the game's changed, the number 10s now, they defend from that position. You know, they work really hard from that position. So it's about the developing the players to play that position, and uh, he'd never played it in the Premier League, don't forget. And I think he has looked sharp coming from the wide. So I think there's a, a balance to what you see and what your gut tells you as well and what your staff tell you in the opinion of the staff. There you go. Surely ends the NJ in a 10 role for now. I think he's going to continue out wide. Uh, Julian Lopetegui has said today it's a huge game for his club against Everton at the weekend. He understands the difficulties of both clubs, but obviously he's won the last two home games and is it looking 
to extend that. But he did give an injury update on forward Nicholas Fulcrug, saying he's going to be out for a while. Uh, the injury getting worse, so no chance of Fulcrug featuring on Saturday. West Ham already without the suspended Mohamed Kudus, who had another two games added on to his three-game initial ban, therefore missing the Everton game. And Edson Alvarez out as well after being sent off last week at Nottingham Forest. And finally, Everton today linked with a move for Brighton fullback Tariq Lamptey. He is out of contract next summer. The 24-year-old uh, has only made one appearance in the Premier League so far this season, but did score against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup, albeit with a big deflection. Uh, in the Carabao Cup defeat last week uh, f against the Reds, Brighton are thought to be open to the player leaving in January. Hasn't been able to force himself into uh, Fabian Hertzler's team, but uh, Everton looking for that bit of pace. If Everton got him, there'll be five right backs and only one left back. Mad, mad. But Everton have been linking him, so there you go. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you check out the match preview. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.